Hello, welcome to Spline Terrain 2D. I want to demonstrate you a little bit of the controls that I have been working on. I have redesigned it in order to be faster and more intuitive and making controls more explicit. Let's start by adding points. You create a point by clicking on a segment line and you can drag it to a new position. If it's an open-ended spline and you want to add new point at the end, press the C key and you will see the guys to add a new point. It connects to the closest edge of the spline. To delete a point, press the Alt key. You will notice the handles are changing color. Now just click on the point you want to delete. When you move a point, you can press Shift for locking the movement on a single axis. And you can press Ctrl or Command in Max to snap points to the grid. As you notice, some points are displayed differently. This is because they behave differently. This type of point can be switched by pressing the C key and clicking on a point. This is the linear point displayed with a box and it tries to go in a right line to the next point. The next one is the automatic mode. It sets automatically the tangent position and the length to find the softest curve. If you want to manually set the tangents, change the point type and adjust. Changing again the type allows you to control independently the sides of the spline. For selecting multiple points, you can drag on the screen. Use Shift for selecting and use Ctrl or Command for unselecting. There are multiple ways to unselect all of the points. You can press escape, you can right click, or you can use the same control you use for selecting, but clicking instead of dragging. When points are selected, changes are applied to every point, like moving, changing the type, or deleting. In the inspector, in the shape tab, we have a button for centering the pivot of the shape, a checkbox for switching between open-ended line or if it's a closed shape, and we have a drop-down with a list of the most common shapes. This totally changes the shape of your spline, keeping a similar size, so it works differently on each figure. It is a good start for defaulting shapes and removes the task of doing basic figures. The smoothness of the shape is a value that affects only the automatic points in the spline. The length of the helper points depends on this value, allowing you to change the shape of the whole spline by a single control instead of needing to modify several points. In this way, automatic points can go from linear to curves with a controlled range of curvature without the need of modifying anything else. In the points tab, you can see the details of every point. Now it displays also on the screen the index of the point. If you want all the information about each point, you can enable these options. Inside of the area of apply to all points, every change made here is applied to all of the points. For example, setting a position of the points or changing the type of the point. I hope you enjoy these changes. I will be adding more features soon and I appreciate all of your feedback. If you have any suggestion or something new you would like me to add for the tool, I'm always available at the Colibri website, at Discord and feel free to send me a message. Thank you so much and see you next time.